Welcome to Moo Moo Math in Science. In this video, we will use the experiment Walking Water in order to learn about variables found in an experiment. In most experiments, you will find at least three variables, the independent variable, the dependent variable, and the control or constant variables. Let's take a look at Walking Water and see if we can't learn about these three types of variables. This is walking water, and what I thought I would do is it's a good way to uh, learn the variables of an experiment, and we'll learn about independent, dependent, and uh, constant variables. Sometimes they're called control variables. So here's what me, let me set up what we have. We have uh, cups of water. We have water, 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 water. I went ahead and used this type of food coloring, and as you can see, I have green red, blue, yellow. Now, what we're going to do in order to introduce the independent and dependent variable is that we're going to have two types of water. We're going to have fresh water in the front, and in the back we're going to have salt water, and I'm just going to put some salt in it. So, uh, in an experiment, you have an independent and dependent variable. The independent variable is what you are changing or manipulating. And in this demonstration or experiment, you will be changing or manipulating the type of water. You will have fresh water and salt water. Also, notice that I'm putting the same amount of salt in each cup. Okay, so let me quickly do that. And then I'll tell you how, I'll show you how we're going to set up the walking water portion of this. You get a paper towel like this. You fold one, two, three times. You then fold it like this. You place one in this cup, one in the other, and then I've pre-folded some, and then I will continue doing that. Now let's take a look at what I have. I have a folded paper towel in between each of the cups, okay? I have fresh water in the front, and I will mark the salt water by placing the salt by it. I have folded paper towel in each one of these. Okay, let's take a look at it a little bit closer. Okay, you get a little idea what it's like. So now what we will do is let it sit and soak for a while. Probably will soak for a couple of hours and then we will be able to measure the amount of water in each one of these cups and that will be our dependent variable and we'll see does fresh water is it absorbed more quickly than salt water so let's see what happens okay so four hours later here is what we have and as you can see the water has moved from one side to another and now all of the cups are filled up so now I need to get an idea of which one is more efficient, the fresh water or the salt water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a scale, and I can get the mass of the fresh water and the salt water, and that will tell me which one transferred more efficiently. So In summary, the independent variable is the variable that can stand alone. It is the variable that you are changing. In walking water, you change the different types of water, either fresh or salt water. The dependent variable depends on the independent variable and you measure this variable. You measure the amount of water that walked or traveled into the empty cup. That would be your dependent variable. And you had several constant or control variables. You use the same type of cup you had the same amount of water, the same paper towels, etc. So there we go. I hope the walking water experiment helped you get an understanding of the different types of variables. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.